Hello there, welcome to another edition of Dyer's Prize Unboxing. It's November and it's the middle of November. Uh, this is my first unboxing recording of this month and I've got quite a few bits and bobs to get through. Um, so let's get going and see what I've won. Start with this one. So Uni, they make pizza ovens and uh, they do run a lot of competitions, but this was actually a freebie that they're doing. It's their 10th birthday this year. And um, Rebecca spotted this offer and put it into the Lucky Learners Facebook group and you could claim a free t-shirt or a cap. And um, they gave you a code and when you got to check out, it, it um, completely covered the cost of the item and the free delivery as well, which is brilliant. Um, so I thought, well, I'll get us a baseball cap because um, even if we don't use it, we always like to have spare caps in the kit bag for the football team. Um, so when it's really sunny, the goalie can put a cap on when he's in goal. So thank you very much to Rebecca for sharing that one and to Umi, of course. Um, another, this is a little squishy one. It could be any number of things that I'm waiting for in the post. It could be something that I've ordered on eBay. Let's find out. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Ah, this is, yes, I remember seeing this one now. So this is a Disney tote bag, and uh, this is from Go Go Squeeze, and they make yogurts that you don't need to put in the fridge. Um, so they're perfect for packed lunches for school. Um, and for this one, you just needed to buy the yogurt and upload your receipt, that was it, upload your receipt. I think only if you, if you want. I think for this one. Um, so I did enter a few times because Ryland decided that he really loves these yogurts. So I've been buying quite a few of them. And then, um, yeah, you could, I can't remember what the other prizes are. I think the top prize is perhaps a Disneyland Paris trip. Um, but this was an instant win tote bag. So very cute. Might be a gift for one of my great nieces, that one. So that's that one. And. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this is one of the prizes I've been waiting for for a long time. Let's see. It feels quite very small in here. Once again, it is Christmas shopping season, so it could be something that I've ordered and forgotten about. Oh no, it is. It is the prize I've been waiting for for a long time. You might well have had something similar. Have you had some of these? So this is the, um, what's the name of the website? I want to say Pop. Pop the Grosh, is it? Popthegrosh.com, something like that. Um, instant win again. So uh, buy Grosh and then just keep entering on the website until you win a prize. So, and I think a lot of people won this prize and it has taken them quite a while to send it out. So they've done a couple of promotions actually, Pop the Grosh, a couple of different um, sets of prizes. So I wonder if that's something that's gonna continue on through 2023 as well. But um, yeah, that's a good one. Love instant wins. Um, and this one, oh, you know what this one is. I can feel it. I'd like to say it's been a while since we've won one of these, but I don't think it has been that long. Uh, again, I think quite a few of you are gonna have one of these. Of course it is, it is. <gasps> It's the Coca-Cola football. That's sweet that it comes with a mini pump, isn't it? Never had that before with a football. Coca-Cola, FIFA World Cup pump. That's quite, quite, um, it's quite, quite a nice idea to send it out. I think the thing is, we play a lot of football in our house. We've got football pumps. But a lot of people would win this and not have a pump to pump it up. So to send it out with that is actually a pretty savvy idea of Coke. Pretty thoughtful. Um, so it is a size 5 football, I'm afraid, which is, uh, you're not supposed to play with size 5 till you're about 14, or, no, 15 years old, I think. It's a grown-up size, which is a shame. Um, but it's useful for the spare footballs anyway in the house. And of course, this is on the Coca-Cola app. You can play for free, play the games on the app, earn your gems, then enter the instant win with your gems. I think everybody is eventually going to win one of these because I think there's 20,000 or something like that. 
Um, however, by the time you watch this, the new Coke promotion will be out on the app as well. And that one has got loads of um, food vouchers. I think it's love to shop vouchers. And that is gonna be in prize draws and instant wins. And you do the same thing. You enter the games for free. You don't need to buy any products. You play the games, you earn your gems, you use the gems to enter the prize drawers and the instant wins. It's brilliant. So um, it's really cool that Coke have started doing that and rather than all the purchase necessary promotions. So they're actually letting people enter for free now. So definitely check out the Coke app and see what the current games are. I will of course leave a link to that because I do update my blog with instructions on how to play the game. Some of them are a lot easier than others, but it doesn't matter which game you play, you always get the same gems and you can use those to enter any of the prize draws. So just play the game that you're best at, which probably isn't the football free kick game because that is rock hard. Right, so this parcel here now, this is a nice one. I didn't win it. My friend Marta won it on Twitter and it's one of those lovely competitions where um, you tag in your friends into the tweet and then your friends also win the same prize, which is just a really lovely idea. And this is actually from Orchard World. And what they did is they sent out an email to all four of us and we all had a special voucher with our name on that said, uh, congratulations winner, which I thought was, I've not seen that before. I thought it was a really lovely idea and they're saying, oh, Please take a photograph of your prize, so, which of course I will do. I do try and take a photograph of the prize is where I can actually thank the promoter I take a photograph of. It's a bit harder with things like, you know, the big corporate things like Coke, because you don't really know which account to tag in. They're not massively active on social media. They don't really talk about the promotions that much on social media. However, with small businesses, it's always really nice to give them a thank you. So Orchard World, you're wondering, what could it be, aren't you? Well, let's see. It could be fruit, of course, fruit from the orchard. So, bag of pears. Oh my God, this is the first time I've ever won pears in a competition. I love first time things. Um, and, <laughs> these satsumas. Seedless, eely, seedless, seedless, easy peelers. There we go. Lovely, and also apples. Oh, this is exciting! Isn't it great to win something healthy? Oh, let's see what kind of apples they are. Oh, look, lovely! Look, box of apples, fab, and also got. A Oh, spiced orange bath bombs. That's a bit random. I remember now that it was actually a Halloween theme giveaway and there was a couple of things that were supposed to be in here, but they got let down by the suppliers. So they put in um, a couple of random things. So bath bombs, spiced orange though. That is a little bit sort of autumn isn't it? That's nice. And then I've got an Orchard World tote bag. And in here should be some, something that's not quite as healthy as the rest. <gasps> Chili chocolate. Yeah. So, yeah, so this was their sort of Halloween goodie bag. I think it was meant to be toffee apple kit or something, but I think they replaced that with chocolate and bath bombs. But anyway, it's really nice. It's good to have all this fruit, very healthy. I need a juicer now, don't I? So, uh, yeah, lovely. So. Thank you so much to Marta for tagging me in that very thoughtful of you and I'll have to repay the favour by winning something for her soon as well. Um, so I've got one more prize but now I can't see it on my table. Oh, it's this one, this one here. So one more little one to open. Uh, this one just came about an hour ago. So it's a bag. It's the third bag of the unboxing after my Disney one and my Orchard Roll one. <laughs> you do actually need loads of bags like this for football. Football boots, the bibs, the football team always need spare bags because they get cramped. So this is Avatar. So this is the bag from the Nestle on pack promotion at the moment. It's quite a strange on pack promotion. There's lots of prizes, but 
only two types. So there's this Avatar bag and a bamboo water bottle, and that's literally all the prizes there are. So it's just small prizes. But if you're buying the cereal anyway, which we eat, we eat tons of Cheerios in this house, so if you're buying the cereal anyway, you might as well enter. So there we go. Nice drawstring bag from Nestle. Thank you very much. And that is it for parcels. I've got a couple more that I need to read out to you from emails as well. A bit of a backlog here. Um, so the first one, this, this is quite a funny one actually because you know how I love purchase necessary competitions uh, and usually you, you, you know, you maybe buy, you buy some crisps, you buy some fruit shoots, you buy some biscuits, something like that. Uh, this is the most expensive qualifying product I have ever bought in my life. Um, and I won't say I bought it to enter a competition. It was just happened to be buying it at the right time. So I'm going to Korea next Easter. Unfortunately, not a win. It's one of the hardest things to win a holidays to, um, well, actually Japan. I, I won't say that because I have won two trips to Japan, but Korea very rarely comes up. And I've maybe encountered about three or four holidays in the last five years to Korea. Um, one of them I couldn't have gone on because of the dates. It was a special trip to go and meet the Spurs team as well, which Rob would not have been impressed with. But I did share that one in Lucky Learners, and Lucy, one of the Lucky Learners, actually, she won that, and her son um, and her husband went on that trip, which looked amazing. But anyway, I digress. It's really hard to win a trip to Korea. So I've had a few big cash wins over the last year, and I decided, right, I'm going to buy the flights to Korea because we have to go in the school holidays at Easter, tied to the you know the flight dates. I'm going to do it. Um, and then I went on to the, I could have flown with Korean Air or Asiana, an Asiana website. Anyone who books a flight in the next week, a return flight from London to Seoul, goes into a prize draw to win one of 10 Amazon vouchers. And I thought, right then, there we go. So I booked, I booked our flights for Easter and last week I got an email saying, uh, congratulations, I'm winning the Asiana Airlines Autumn Getaway promotion. Thank you for flying Asiana and it's a £20 Amazon voucher. So there you go. The flights cost like 10 times as much as, no, 20, 100 times. <laughs> I can't put my maths, it's terrible. The flights for the three of us were over £2,000. So it's, it's quite a small prize considering what I spent on the flights, but hey. I'm glad I got them anyway because they are now about £4,000. So we are organised, we are going to Korea at Easter. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so thank you to Asiana for that. I've put that into my Amazon tally because I've won lots of Amazon vouchers this year, which is brilliant because I've started getting a lot of Christmas gifts and it's really helpful. Um, and finally, an email here from Fruit Shoot for the Moon at GetSavvy.com. Um, hello, congratulations. You might remember our Fruit Shoot for the Moon competition, which ran over the summer. It closed on 30th of September, and since then we've been fulfilling the family experience prizes. Some of these have not been allocated during the initial competition. As we don't want any to go to waste, we have conducted a mock-up draw, and happy to confirm that you've won one of these prizes. Um, so, yes, I needed to get back to them and confirm which prize I wanted, and it was all in the terms and conditions. There were loads of options for a family day out. Um, I actually won on this last year and I chose the trampolining prize and this year I've gone for um, tickets to the Science Museum in London which I actually think is free entry but I think it's tickets there's something else that's involved with the prize and also we get £50 travel allowance so um, they're currently trying to book that for me at the moment but I don't think you can get tickets yet because we want to go in February half term um, but anyway, that should be a good day out as well. So really pleased with that. Do love, do love a bit of a mop-up draw, a bit of a surprise win after you think everything's all signed, sealed and delivered. Um, but yeah, so that's it for the start of this month, which I'm really, really pleased with. Lots of nice little wins here and lots of fruit for me to eat. And um, I've definitely got one more prize, which is arriving in a week's time. So there will be a little bit more of this month's unboxing. So I'll see you next week. Hello, it's the 26th of November and I'm doing a very rare evening unboxing uh, because I've just had a delivery from Yodel, uh, Pastor Evangelist. Um, this is my dinner this evening, so I thought I'd better open it now while it's still cold. It is a prize from um, Tesco. Tesco text to win competition and it was with San Pellegrino Fizzy Water. So if you bought San Pellegrino Water at Tesco, um, you could upload your receipts and enter a competition and I think there were 100 winners of this one 
um, and you want a £50 voucher to spend uh, with pastor evangelists who do um, like meal boxes. So the idea is that you sign up to a subscription, but obviously you don't have to if you win the voucher. You can just use your voucher for a free delivery, which is what I've done. So uh, we've got our dinner here for this evening. So let's see what's inside the box. So obviously ice packs. And then look, let me show you what's going on in there. And we've got okay all very well packaged quite exciting this it makes it really nice lazy saturday dinner doesn't it that we can have while we're watching mexico argentina in the world cup so this is tiramisu that's a good size portion of tiramisu so i have ordered four tiramisus because they come in pairs so roland might get two if he's lucky one for later in the week I'm going to say they look like they've survived the journey, but this one, yep, no, that one's a little bit sticky, we're all right, three, and four, now the question is, are they going to taste better than my best friend Jojo's tiramisu, she makes an amazing tiramisu, uh, and then also in here we've got um, hmm, Strakla Tella Con Tartufo. So this is like, it's Italian mozzarella cheese with truffle in it. And this is what you have as like a sort of um, a starter. Yeah, it's nice and soft. So sort of like as a dip with some breadsticks, I'm going to do that. Uh, and then here, two more bags. And uh, this is spaghetti alla cittara with vegan puttanesca sauce so obviously on the bag here you get the instructions how to cook it cook the pasta put the sauce in a pan and sprinkle over the pan ratato i think that's cheese so spaghetti sauce oh no it's like uh cheesy breadcrumbs maybe sauce and cheesy breadcrumbs so uh, what I'm going to do is try and remember to take a photograph of my dinner so I can share with you uh, how it is when it's all cooked in about half an hour's time. Um, so yeah, really pleased with that, something different and it's just a bit of a treat to have, have this on a Saturday evening and not have to do too much cooking or washing up. So uh, brilliant. Thank you to uh, San Pellegrino, Tesco and Pasta Evangelist for this. Hello, it's the 29th of November and the last instalment of this month's prize unboxing so i've got a few little things to tell you about and a couple of things to open the first one to tell you about is a prize with abbott ale now they've got a new unpack promotion um the top prizes are three uk staycations and that's in a prize draw but there's winning moments prizes as well and lots of them small prizes um i think there's merchandise like socks and things like that but also there's 810 pound green king vouchers that you can spend on the website and I won one of those. So you need to buy Abbott Ale and then enter the instant win. And if you do win, you need to send a copy of your receipt. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've got 10 pounds to spend on the online shop and they do a really nice non-alcoholic lager, which I think I'm gonna stock up on. Um, the next prize to tell you about is another, well, smallish one. I finally had a win on the Coca-Cola Magic Christmas um the instant win today which is on the coca-cola app and it's another free to enter one so you play the games you earn the gems and then you go to prizes and you spend 150 gems you tap it and then see if you've won instantly and you can play twice a day so i have been entering twice a day and this morning uh, my husband woke up at half five in the morning and i thought right better enter that coke one overnight and i got my instant win this morning at half five and it's a 20 pound I think it's a food delivery voucher, but I don't know if they've been sent out yet. I think you have a choice of, of what, what your voucher is, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, but anyway, definitely make sure you're entering that one every day because it's free entry. And there's loads of prizes to be won, over 3,000 in total. And there's also weekly prize draws to win £200 vouchers as well. So make sure you're entering daily. Now, then the other competition, the other prize to tell you about is also a £20 prize. And... Uh, this was just in a little Twitter competition on Skybet on Twitter. Now, to be honest, I'm not a gambler, but sometimes if you can win a free bet, 
I will play the free bet and just do it and forget about it. So I did win £20 just in a retweet competition. And it's safe to say that I've got £1 left of that 20 having bet £19 on World Cup results uh, that haven't happened. I'm not very good at gambling. Not a big fan of gambling. So anyway, let's not talk about that one. Maybe I'll win with my final pound. I'll do like a 100 to 1 bet on, uh, on Wales winning the World Cup or something. But anyway... So other prizes, I've got another one on the list, £20.22 cash, which was paid into my bank account today. Um, and that was with, um, I've mentioned the London Competitors Club before. I've been a member of the LCC for years and it's been going for years. I think, oh my gosh, is it 75, 80 years now? I can't remember which anniversary they've just celebrated. Um, and it's not just for people who are in London. Um, probably most of the members are based in or near London, but you can join all over the country and they meet four times a year and they do competitions in their quarterly magazine compilation which you get through the post and um, you can enter all the little there's little puzzles and prizes and quizzes uh, but they had one which i really loved which was a photograph of it was a little japanese um, model of like a japanese sort of house and garden and you had to say how many pieces you thought were in this model and I love a challenge like that. So I Googled it and I found a YouTube video of someone actually making the house. So I watched it at double speed while I was doing something else and just roughly counted all the pieces that were put in. And I'm like, right, I'm going to win this. Uh, I can't remember what I put now. It's something like 381 and it was about 20 pieces out. But I won the um, £20.22 because it was the 2022 edition of the magazine. So all the prizes were £20.22p. But anyway, thanks to the LCC for that one. That was a fun one to do. Um, and then I've just got a couple of parcels to open. So this is a small one. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is Velcro. This, but it's Velcro for fabrics. Now... So it's sticky on the back. Now, I was trying to work out what this was. Now, this was a Halloween competition on Twitter. And you had to say, this is really good for fancy dress costumes. So you don't need to sew anything. You can just make stick things together by putting your Velcro on both sides. Uh, and they just asked what you were wearing for Halloween. And I said, uh, a ghostly apparition, uh, which I didn't dress up as in the end. We didn't even go out. But that's what I was last time. <laughs> so that was just a Twitter reply competition. Um, so yeah, so this will be for my next fancy dress costume and see how I get on with it. Thank you, Velcro, for that. Uh, so that's interesting, actually, because that's a couple of Twitter wins. And I think I mentioned last month I won two books on Twitter. And up until then, I think I'd only had one or two Twitter wins all year. So I seem to be getting a few more Twitter wins now, which is good news. Uh, finally, then, is this one. Oh, have you had one of these as well? I hope so. I hope most people watching have had one of these because oh, there were so many, so many to be won. Uh, it is a prize from a Tesco text to win. Uh, which I think it's my third Tesco text to win prize this year. After we won tickets to the football and then I won the pastor evangelist voucher as well. So this is from Bon Maman. Congratulations and happy Christmas. So this is, oh this is very well packed actually. Nice. I imagine it's been quite an effort for them to send these out because I think it was 70 a day for how many days? 21 days? Anyway, a lot of these. Well over 2,000. So, here we go. My one's come and done a bit at the top here to fix that. Took it back in. Or maybe not. Fiddly. Right, so this is the Bon Maman. I assume it's full of jams. Jam, I think, calendar. How does it open though? Ah, oh, okay. Got it. No. Oh, now I'm excited. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be toast for breakfast every day in December. Near Ryland. Oh, and the other end. Right, oh, this is a mission, isn't it? This is good actually because I haven't got an advent calendar. Rob and Rye have got chocolate ones, but I don't like chocolate that much. 
so yay bingo oh that's cute isn't it mm, it looks so festive that's really lovely i'm gonna stick it on the sideboard over there fantastic right i'm all set then all ready for december and the advent comps so talking of the advent comps of course um, do check out I've got my usual post of tips just as a reminder and what I'll be doing on the 1st of December is putting on my top picks so my favorite um, the best comps sort of my pick of the prizes so if you've not got much time to do your advent comps then I'll try and pick out the ones that I think are going to be the the best ones as usual I put bright sun in there bright sun travel I work with them all year round and they always give away loads of good prizes in their advent competition I think top prize this year is a trip to Oman and then there's Malaysia Airlines flights Harrods vouchers and all sorts of goodies in that one so definitely keep an eye out for that one um, the other thing I just need to remind you about is food bank advent I've been down to shore and food bank this morning and I've dropped off my reverse advent calendar parcel of goodies with them um, you've got until Christmas Eve if you're doing a food bank donation yourself whether it's a full advent box of 24 items or just you dropping a few things off at the supermarket take a photograph send it to me on twitter or instagram hashtag food bag advent tag super lucky die and i will put you into a prize drawer to win a 50 pound supermarket voucher that closes on christmas eve so you've got till then to take part and i i love getting all your entries in last year i think i got more than 50 so i'm going to try and beat that this year i've already had 30 people enter which is brilliant um and the other thing is boot comp if you did buy a copy of boot comp they they've been delivered they have been signed i've tucked bookmarks and two gold tickets in and royal mail finally collected them yesterday unfortunately they're now on strike for two days so i don't know when they're going to get to you fingers crossed by the start of next week surely so um i'm sorry about the delay with that it's just been a bit of a nightmare with the strikes and everything but hopefully you'll get that soon and you'll be pleased with it if you did miss out on that um, you can buy it on Amazon. Ah, but that's what I was going to do. I almost forgot. I want to give away some copies as well because I did order spare copies. So hold on one second. I'm back. Okay, so here's the giveaway. You can win one of five copies of my Bootcamp 2023 planner. And all you need to do is leave a comment on YouTube before midnight on the 10th of December and tell me what do you want to win in the advent? What would be your perfect prize to win ready for Christmas? What do the kids want? What do you want? Let me know in the comments. And then on the 11th of December, I will choose five comments at random. I will contact you, get your address, and I will get this in the post to you. Of course, along with book, lucky bookmark as well. Send that out to you and i will i will post worldwide as well so you can enter from anywhere in the world good luck with that and wishing you a wonderful christmas because my next unboxing will go live on new year's eve and just good luck with the advents don't get stressed out about them there's more fun things to be doing look out for all the creative competitions and instant wins and purchase necessary ones but don't get too stressed out with all the advents and i will see you soon Good luck with everything. Bye-bye.